Did I scare you? Ha, ah, don't worry. We're just getting into the Halloween spirit. Have you ever wondered why people dress up as ghosts and monsters on October 31st? Stay tuned, because today's episode is going to be spooktacular. Nice one, Eva. Hello, everyone. I'm Ethan. And I'm Eva. Welcome to Speak Up, your favorite English learning podcast where we make learning fun and practical. You know, Eva, I still remember my first Halloween in America. I was so confused when kids started showing up at my door in costumes. Really? Tell us more about that, Ethan. Well, I had just moved from abroad, and nobody told me about trick or treating. When the doorbell rang and I saw little ghosts and witches outside, I almost jumped out of my skin. What did you do? I panicked and gave them a bunch of fruit from my kitchen. The kids were so disappointed. My neighbor had to explain the candy tradition to me later. Oh no! That's why we're doing this episode to help our listeners understand Halloween traditions better. Speaking of which, let's learn about its history. Halloween actually originated from an ancient Celtic festival called Samhain. The Celts believe that on October 31st, the boundary between our world and the spirit world became blurred. That's fascinating. And that's why people wore costumes to confuse the spirits. Today, it's celebrated in many countries, especially in the United States and Canada. Let's teach our listeners some spooky Halloween superstitions. For example, if a black cat crosses your path on Halloween night, it's considered bad luck. And if you see a spider on Halloween, it means the spirit of a loved one is watching over you. Isn't that interesting? Now, listeners, repeat these Halloween superstition phrases after me. A black cat crossed my path. I saw a spider in my room. And speaking of celebrations, let's listen to a typical Halloween conversation between friends. Pay attention to the expressions they use. Hey, Ethan, what are your plans for Halloween? I'm throwing a costume party. Would you like to come? That sounds fun. What should I wear? Anything spooky. You could be a witch, a vampire, or even a zombie. Great. Now let's learn some essential Halloween vocabulary. Ready? Repeat after us. Trick or treat. This is what children say when they go door to door collecting candy. Let's hear it in action. Trick or treat. Oh my, what scary costumes. Happy Halloween, everyone. Here's some candy for you. Now let's practice some useful Halloween party phrases. Repeat after me. What are you dressed as? Your costume looks amazing. I love what you've done with the decorations. Excellent. Now let's put it all together in a conversation. Eva, you're arriving at my Halloween party? Wow. Ethan, your house looks so spooky. I love what you've done with the decorations. Thanks. And look at you. What an amazing vampire costume. Did you make it yourself? I did. I'm so excited to show everyone. Now it's your turn, listeners. Practice these conversations with your friends this Halloween. Oh, and here's something fun. Let's learn some Halloween puns. They're very popular at Halloween parties. Why did the vampire go to the orthodontist? To improve his fangs. Get it, listeners? Fangs instead of teeth. Here's another one. What do you call a witch at the beach? A sandwich. These puns are perfect for breaking the ice at Halloween parties. Now, let's learn about Halloween food vocabulary. At parties, you might find candy corn, caramel apples, and my favorite, pumpkin pie. 
Before we go, for homework, we have two fun tasks. First, comment three Halloween phrases you learned today. And second, share a Halloween tradition from your country. We'd love to learn about different celebrations around the world. If you enjoyed today's lesson, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, everyone.